The suspect in the shooting death of a Tupelo convenience store clerk killed during a robbery is in jail with no bond, but questions are mounting about this case. As Ali Martin reports, the suspect, Chris Copeland, had prior felony convictions but was placed on house arrest after violating parole. Here is our exclusive report. Six days after he was shot and killed during a robbery at the Chevron Food Mart where he worked, friends and family of Prim Bar Singh turned out for a candlelight vigil honoring the memory of the 33-year-old who came to the United States in search of a better life. This was a senseless crime. Tupelo Police Chief John Quaka spoke briefly during the vigil, promising justice for the Singh family and hoping the crime will spark a change throughout the area. I pray that this is the event that sets Tupelo and Lee County into the mindset, enough is enough. Singh was behind the counter the morning of September 11th when security camera video caught the last moments of his life. We aren't going to show the video, but here are screen grabs from that video. Singh is approached by a suspect identified by police as 26-year-old Chris Copeland. Police say Copeland, a convicted felon, points a gun at Singh demanding money. The video shows Singh handing over the cash and getting on the floor when told and even giving the suspect another bag of cash. Police say Copeland jumps over the counter, puts the gun to the back of Singh's head, and fires. Singh died a few hours later at NMMC. Copeland was quickly identified and was arrested as police were serving a search warrant at his last known address on Moore Avenue. While police were able to identify Copeland through the security camera footage, along with the witness who spotted him at the Dollar General across the street before the robbery, an ankle monitor Copeland was wearing wasn't working. We are told it either hadn't been activated or wasn't recharged. That ankle monitor was placed on Copeland after his latest run-in with the law. Last fall, Circuit Court Judge John White revoked Copeland's post-release supervision on a 2018 charge of felony burglary and larceny of a dwelling. Copeland pleaded guilty to that and was given a 20-year sentence with 17 years suspended. Copeland was placed on five years post-release supervision after his release, which he violated. Instead of sending Copeland back to prison, Judge White ordered Copeland to serve two years in the Mississippi Department of Corrections Intensive Supervision Program, allowing Copeland to serve his time under house arrest. A spokesman with MDOC says, Copeland made his weekly visits with his probation officer until April, when the local MDOC office had a change of personnel. After that, Copeland never checked in, even though he was under house arrest with an ankle monitor. He didn't surface again until September 11th. We're all hurting. <laughs> Farm is a good person. District 6 State Senator Chad McMahon says he is looking into the case to see how Copeland, who has multiple felony convictions dating back to 2015, flew under MDOC's radar for months. I have been in touch with the MDOC, with the Sheriff's Department, the Police Department, and I intend to hold a hearing here locally and pull all the parties together. It'll be a public hearing, open to, open to the media, to the public. Everything I do is for the public to view. Uh, but it's important to me that we all get together and get to the bottom of what happened so that it doesn't happen again. MDOC is also investigating, and in a statement, Commissioner Burl Kane said, quote, according to our records, after consistently reporting to his probation officer each month this year, Mr. Copeland failed to appear on April 7th, 2022. Our agents conducted an extensive search for Copeland for over a month, issuing a warrant for his arrest on June 6, 2022, to all local, state, and national law enforcement through the National Crime Information Center system. Copeland, however, managed to elude law enforcement for three months. MDOC's investigation is ongoing. End of quote. Singh's family members wonder why a convicted felon wasn't kept in prison. He shouldn't have been out on the road, that's right. So I, I request whoever's up there, you know, I request to them, keep this guy off the road or give him the maximum penalty, death penalty.
We wanted to ask Circuit Court Judge John White why he put Copeland in the intensive supervision program instead of ordering him back to prison when he violated his probation. We left three messages with a judge at his offices here at the Lee County Justice Center. The judge has not returned our calls. In the meantime, Singh was returned to his native India, where his family gave him a traditional burial ceremony last week. Telling your story in Tupelo, Allie Martin, WCBI News. And to see all of the documents relating to Chris Copeland's convictions in Lee County, you can go to our website, WCBI.com.